Hello, this is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring. And I want to talk to you today about going gluten-free. And actually, I have not only gone gluten-free, I've gone grain-free. I don't eat rice or oatmeal or wheat or gluten or any kind of bread. Um, I also do not eat gluten-free products. Like, I don't eat bread that says gluten-free. I don't eat, like, fake... Uh, processed foods. Um, I okay. About seven months ago, I went gluten free, and I've also recently gone grain free. In addition to going gluten free, I eliminated all grains, and mostly what I eat right now is um, vegetables. And I've increased the good fats. I've I've read the book Grain Brain, as well as Wheat Belly. And those authors have a lot to say about grain. And I don't want to go into that. I just want to say that I know for me, I am living proof to myself. I am like a walking laboratory. Um, I have lost over 20 pounds. What precipitated, precipitated, is that a word? And there's a loud motorcycle out my window. I'm hoping that you can't hear that. It's really, really annoying me. Okay, so yeah. Talk about health and nutrition, health and nutrition. Okay, I have always been into health and nutrition and I've always exercised my whole life, but I used to be a bredaholic my whole life. I'm 45 years old. It's now the last, it's, what is it? It's December 31st, the last day of 2013. And I'm 45 years old. I was born in 1968. And I went gluten-free about seven months ago and um, my thyroid was I was having an issue with my thyroid and it scared me and a naturopathic physician recommended she said well if you go gluten-free it might help your immune system which might help your thyroid balance out and to make a long story short I am no longer on any thyroid medication and my thyroid is at a, at a good level um, it's not under or overactive anymore, so it was underactive. Um, and now it's, it's, it's healthy and balanced. And I not only went gluten-free, I went processed food-free. So I don't buy a bunch of fake things that say gluten-free on them. What I eat is, let's see, every morning I have cooked spinach. Um, I eat eggs. The theory is, the theory actually is, okay. I have lost over 20 pounds. The theory is that grains are inflammatory to the body. And I really think it's true because I feel so much better mentally. Like I still have mood issues. I'm sensitive. I'm a sensitive person and I have mood issues still. But since going gluten-free and grain-free, I feel more calm. I feel like when something upsetting happens to me, I calm down more quickly. I don't feel as irritated by things that are stressful. Um, life still is stressful sometimes, but I don't like overreact as much. And I feel like my brain, as what well, my mental and brain, my thinking as well as my mental emotional health has improved and been. I, I'm more stable and calm since going gluten free. But I also have done something. I've increased. They, see, they used to think that fat was bad and carbs were good. And they say, eat plenty of whole grain bread. And now they're finding out that whole grain bread actually does the same to your blood sugar as eating white flour bread or candy bars or sugar. So basically, the best thing to do is just to eliminate grain altogether. And maybe that's too radical for some people, but I know I feel better. Every once in a while I eat rice, every once in a while I eat oatmeal, but generally I'm not eating any rice or any oats. And since doing that, I felt better. And um, I, I, okay, so this morning I had spinach. I also, I have increased the good fats. And they say that good fat, it fat actually fills you up if it's the good kind of fat. And it gives you the omegas and the essential fatty acids. And it's good for your brain. And fat does the opposite. See, grains can irritate the body. Good, healthy, natural fats soothe your body and calm it and lubricate it and, and just help it 
function better. And also, if you eat good healthy fat in your diet, you feel full and satisfied and then you don't get hungry as soon. So I notice I eat avocados, I eat nuts like walnuts and pecans. Mostly I eat raw nuts, but I also sometimes eat roasted nuts. I eat sunflower seeds, pecans, walnuts, almonds, cashews. Peanuts are not really as good for you. I don't eat as many peanuts, but I do eat all the other nuts, especially walnuts and pecans. Those are supposed to be really, really good for your brain and your skin. Uh, I eat coconut oil. So the good healthy fats are, okay, I eat eggs. I still eat meat. I try to get organic grass-fed meat. I'm avoiding soy right now because that might be irritating to the body, they say. Not sure what's true on soy, but I don't really eat a lot of soy. I, eat co I drink coconut milk and almond milk in my coffee. Every day I have a huge salad. I have spinach in the morning for breakfast. I have avocado and eggs and I eat, to fill myself up, I eat huge plates full of vegetables, and on top of the vegetables I put turmeric, and I put um, nutritional brewer's yeast, and my salad dressing is apple cider vinegar and olive oil, which tastes really good and it's really healthy. Olive oil is good healthy fat for your body and your mind. And apple cider vinegar is a fermented thing that has good bacteria in it that's good for your gut. And that's what I was going to say is that my whole life I have been a breadaholic. I remember one of my favorite foods as a child was bread. Ever since I first had bread, you know, toast, I could just eat pieces and pieces of bread. I used to eat pizza. I've always like been really active and I have like good muscle tone and pretty good, pretty good cardiovascular fitness, but I always had a bloated stomach, and I tend to, that's mostly where I gain my fat, is in my belly, but I also had a bloated stomach, and I didn't realize how much of my belly was bloated versus just a little extra fat. Now that I've grain-free and gluten-free and increased the good fats in my diet and increased vegetables and greens, my stomach is a lot flatter. I still have a little flab on my belly that I want to burn off and I'm working on that by daily exercise and doing sit-ups and cardiovascular exercise and lifting some weights for my arms, try to get my build up my muscles. But I notice my stomach is flatter than it's been in years and also I can see my cheekbones and I can see I'm a figure model for a living which means I'm the nude model for people and I can see my bones and muscles through my skin more than I ever have before. And in previous times in my life where I've lost weight and gotten thinner and, you know, leaner, I didn't notice seeing my ribs and seeing my bones and muscles. And so I think that my body was inflamed, my tissue, and I didn't even know it. Like a little bit puffy and I didn't know it. Because this time, this is the first time that I've lost weight by going gluten-free and grain-free and wheat-free and by radically changing my diet, instead of just eating less calories and exercising more, I am exercising more, eating less calories, but specifically I've gone grain free and I have increased the good fats like avocado. And notice that I don't need to, I, it's hard for me to overeat now because ever since going grain free, my appetite is less because if I eat bread, I just feel hungry and hungry and hungry and hungry like I'm never filled up. And carbohydrates tend to do that. Carbohydrates tend to make your blood sugar go up and down, like eating candy bars. And um, I still eat chocolate. I eat bittersweet, dark chocolate. I love it. Occasionally I have real ice cream. They also say that if you're going to eat dairy products, it's better to eat whole fat dairy products, like whole milk and whole fat cheese and whole ice cream. When you get non-fat dairy products, there's a higher sugar content because when you remove the fat from dairy, there's lactose, which is the dairy sugar. And when you remove the fat, then like a cup of milk has more lactose in it. Whereas whole milk has a certain amount of fat, a certain amount of lactose, and a certain amount of whatever else is in milk. But when you remove the fat, it increases the sugar content. And so if you drink a cup of non-fat or low-fat milk, you're getting more lactose. And if you drink a cup of whole milk, yeah, you're getting more calories and more fat, but it's more filling. You're less likely to want to drink another glass of milk. And the fat actually is good because it keeps your blood sugar more stable. When you eat good fat, your blood sugar doesn't go way up and way down. It stays more even. And I can feel that this is true because when I eat avocado, 
I tend to feel pretty satisfied and pretty soon. I mean, I just cut an avocado in half and eat it with a spoon like it's ice cream. It tastes great and it's good healthy vitamin E and all the different things in healthy fats that are good for you. I also eat hemp seed, hemp oil, avocado oil, coconut oil. I put coconut oil on my skin for my moisturizer. Uh, coconut oil is antifungal, antibacterial. It also, uh, bac yeah, bacterial. It also tastes really good. So I, I'm increasing the good fats and decreasing. I avoid hydrogenated fat, like fake fatty stuff, and, and high fructose corn syrup I avoid. I sometimes eat raw uh, organic honey, which is supposed to have some good stuff in it. But I don't eat a lot of sugar. I love ice cream and I love dark chocolate, but I pretty much avoid candy and um, any kind of uh, junk food that has hydrogenated oil or corn syrup in it. But I love, and I like Brussels sprouts. My whole life I thought I didn't like Brussels sprouts, and now I'm, I don't like cooked Brussels sprouts. But I take Brussels sprouts and I chop them up. So in my daily salad, usually what I have is a big bowl of organic greens like chard, kale, um, arugula, spinach, you know, a mixture of organic greens. And then I put, let's see, um, apple cider vinegar and olive oil as the dressing. I put avocado, sunflower seeds, chopped up Brussels sprouts, and then nutritional brewer's yeast. And brewer's yeast has, a, it's fermented, it has some kind of good bacteria in it. And in your gut, in your digestive system, which might be why I'm less bloated, as well as going gluten-free and wheat-free and grain-free, I also started eating more apple cider vinegar and fermented foods like pickles, certain kind of pickles are fermented, and um, what do you call it? Brewer's yeast and nutritional yeast and apple cider vinegar and those are both um, have like good bacteria and because in your digestive system you have bacteria and some is good and some is bad and when you eat enough of the good bacteria it helps you um, deal with the bad bacteria and get rid of it and so your body chemistry stays in balance and so I feel like I'm less bloated because of that as well like my gut feels better my digestive system feels better I feel like when I poop, <laughs> more is eliminated. I feel like my stomach is more flat and I feel like there's not a bunch of gunk stuck in my junk, you know, like gunk stuck in my intestines basically, not to gross you out, but I just feel like more clean and I feel like when I eat food, it digests better and it eliminates better. So I really feel, they say that you can get a leaky gut, Look that up if you want to. I don't want to explain it, but I've watched a whole bunch of videos on what leaky gut is. And when you eat a lot of grain, supposedly it might weaken your intestines and make your, your body not absorb food as a nutrition as well. And I think that's probably true because I feel like my digestive system is working better. I can just tell something is smoother. I'm not bloated. My stomach is more flat. My waist is getting all like hourglass curvy. I'm just, I'm excited because I'm a model for a living. And so it's good for me to look my best and, and be fit and trim and healthy. And now that I'm 45, I especially want to make sure I take really good care of myself so I can live a long, healthy life. Um, so that's my gluten-free, grain-free, wheat-free video, and I highly recommend trying gluten-free, grain-free, wheat-free, all of it, um, or at least just wheat-free, you know. I don't eat rice or oatmeal anymore either, and I just, it really does feel better. And I, again, I eat like a huge plate full of vegetables, and I'm, I'm not eating cheese anymore either. So on my vegetables, what I put on top to make it make them taste more interesting is I put hummus. I get hummus, which is ground up garbanzo beans and sesame seeds, and it has like garlic oil, garlic and olive oil and lemon, and it's just really, it's like a kind of a good proteiny, fatty kind of thing. And it's kind of creamy, except it's non-dairy, because it's made out of garbanzo beans and sesame seeds. Um, and olive oil, and then you just put that on top. It, it's it, a lot of people use hummus as a dip for other things, for crackers or bread. But I don't eat bread or crackers anymore, so I use my hummus on top of my cooked vegetables, and then I sprinkle brewer's yeast and turmeric on top of that. Turmeric is an herb that's supposed to. They put it in a lot of curry sauces. Turmeric is supposed to be really good for your heart, and I forgot what else. But turmeric is apparently really, really good, and, and it helps you like. Um, not get cancer, basically. It's a cancer repellent. As well as eating lots of fruits and vegetables. 
but not whole grains. We've been told, eat whole grains, don't eat fat. But the truth is, eat, increase the good fats, decrease the grains, actually eliminate the grains. I recommend just eliminating the grains and eating a lot more vegetables and fruits. Um, I just feel so much better, it's unbelievable. And I'm planning on burning off another 20 pounds of fat. I don't even know if I have 20 pounds of fat to burn, but um, I've lost over 20 pounds already. I just want to burn off the excess fat that I that I have on my body and keep building up my muscle. It just feels so good. Um, my clothes fit better. Actually, my clothes are getting kind of baggy. I just feel, um, the only thing I don't like is my boobs are kind of shriveling up. You know, the thinner, the leaner I get, then my boobs are kind of shriveling up. That's okay. But it actually, it feels nice to have smaller breasts. It feels, it's more comfortable to wear my clothes and to jog, I jog sometimes when I exercise and it feels better. Also for my daily exercise, I don't belong to a gym because I don't really like gyms. What I do is I go outside, even if it's raining, I live in Seattle, even if it's raining, I go outside and I walk up s steep hills, I jog or I walk up steep hills and there's like some stair and, and the place called Volunteer Park, there's this really cool like staircase thing that I walk up three times. That's like doing a bunch of sets of weights. I do three sets of 20 sit-ups a day. I do, I lift my arm weights and I do like the plank exercise that people do. And I basically do exercise every other, every, every other day I try to do weights and mostly indoor stuff. And then every other day I do cardio outside. And then if I have a lot of energy, I'll do cardio every day if I, if I feel like I need to do that. But when my muscles get sore, I kind of give them a break. So if my muscles are really, really sore, I might not do cardio that day. Um, it depends. But generally, I do cardio almost every day, but weights I only do every other day. I do sit-ups every day. Uh, and I just feel more in touch with my body. I feel like my muscles are like saying, thank you for paying attention to me. And my mental health is a lot better. A lot better. I'm still a very sensitive, emotional person, and which is fine. But when you're sensitive, you have to be careful to not get like out of balance. And so I feel like my nutritional, my nutrition and my exercise has really helped me, really, really helped me. And I've always been into nutrition again, but I've always eaten a lot of bread. Like I, I used to get like organic whole grain, sprouted grain bread with no flour thinking that was good. And now I realized, no, actually I need to eliminate the grains. I used to also eat pizza, which was with white flour. That was really bad for me, and it's very addictive. I really feel like, for me, going cold turkey. The only way I could quit gluten was to go cold turkey. And again, I did it because I was afraid about my thyroid being underactive. So I quit cold turkey, and I just found a bunch of other things to replace uh, grains with. And also, oh, if you crave cereal, this is how I sometimes make cereal. I take um, raw uh, walnuts and pecans and I put them in a bowl with hemp seed and chia seed and then I just pour I, I drink almond and coconut milk and I just put that so it's basically just nuts and seeds so yeah whatever your favorite nuts are put them in a bowl and put it in with um, hemp seeds and or chia seeds and then just put your milk on it put you know whatever kind of milk you like whether it's cow milk or almond milk or coconut milk or soy milk or whatever you like put it on there and that's kind of like it satisfies my craving for cereal and a lot of people are afraid to eat nuts because they have fat in them but the, it's the good kind of fat not I'm not talking about like roasted like nuts that have been roasted in canola oil that's not good for you but especially raw nuts are good for you the fat and oil that's in nuts is really good for you it has in fact it they sometimes say that people that eat more nuts are tend to be leaner and thinner than people that eat other kinds of fats or people that eat a lot of carbs and no fat tend to have more of a problem with being overweight than people who eat, ironically, people who eat more fat and less carbs seem to be leaner. And I can tell because that's what I'm doing. I'm actually eating avocado and I eat like um, a lot of nut. I eat nuts and avocado every day. And I'm less hungry actually, and I'm not I'm not like overeating. It's it's easy for me now to eat light, and I eat huge salads, and I really and I drink a lot of water. I get my water from a natural well near Seattle because I don't want um, fluoride or chlorine in my water. So I get I want my water from Mother Earth. So what I do is I drive with like I've got a bunch of five gallon jugs, and I go fill them up at this well near Seattle 
full of natural spring water from the earth. And I'm really happy that I live in a place that has clean, healthy water like that. I'm very fortunate. And it has minerals in it. So every day I drink a lot of water. I have one iced coffee every morning, uh, not decaf. I drink real coffee. I drink organic shade-grown coffee just at one in the morning. First, I drink a glass of water when I first get up, but then I have my iced coffee and then I drink water the rest of the day. Occasionally I have iced tea unsweetened or herbal tea unsweetened. Um, but I generally try to just drink one cup of coffee and water. And no like empty sugar calories of drinks. And I don't drink any soda. For years I drank like diet sodas. I don't do that anymore. And I don't drink regular soda or diet soda. Um, if I crave like carbonation I usually get just like um, carbonated water that's got um, fruit essence in it, but no sugar, no fake sugar, no real sugar, unsweetened, just carbonated water, basically, if I crave it. But I generally don't crave that anymore. I used to crave carbonated stuff. No, now I just, now I just have um, natural spring water, mostly. So, that's my nutrition and exercise video. My name is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring. Thanks for tuning in. If you go to my website, shannonkringen.com, you'll see that I have my artwork. I'm mostly a photographer. I'm an art model. I'm a photographer. I'm a shoe painter. Um, I am, photography actually is probably my biggest talent. But I also write poetry and I record sp spoken word music. And what else? I just, I do a lot of different art. I have a three blogs. I have a live journal, a WordPress, and a Tumblr. And I have a, a two Facebooks, one for my art, a personal Facebook page, and an art Facebook page. And I have like, yeah, Twitter and LinkedIn and all of that. I have, if you just go to shannonkringen.com, S-H-A-N-N-O-N-K-R-I-N-G-E-N.com, you'll see, um, check out my website and my art and just feel free to email me with questions or comments. Thank you for tuning in. Follow your dreams, follow your bliss, I'll seal it with a kiss. I am Goddess Kring, I can do anything, and so can you.